Welcome back tires to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying the hairball leech salmon and steelhead fly. The hairball leech is a legendary fly pattern for salmon and steelhead. It's also great, a great fly for the beginner fly tire wanting to hone in some of the essential skills at the vise. I tie this fly in a number of color variations including an all black, purple pink, black chartreuse, flesh and pink, as well as a hot pink, to name a few. When I tie this in a bright Cherise fuchsia or hot pink color, it becomes a really great pattern for targeting salmon from the Great Lakes and the West Coast. When tied in chartreuse, the fly is an all around good searching pattern for chasing silver salmon, king salmon, chum salmon, and picky winter steelhead. Be sure to tie these on heavy wire hooks as the fish that hit these aren't messing around. Now, as I said, this is a great steelhead and salmon pattern, and I'm excited to share it with you. All right, let's get started. Alright, let's get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using a Superfly Steelhead heavy wire hook. And this is a number two. I'm using a black 6 aught Superfly thread. And we're just going to start by putting a base layer on the return eye of this hook. Me. And the nice thing about a return eye is it sits, helps stabilize these dumbbell eyes really nicely. So I'm just going to start by crossing over once or twice here, and then I'm going to come over top of the hook, and then I'm just going to straighten out the eye and add a couple wraps going the other direction. And I'm going to cinch that down, come around to the other side, add a few more wraps, cinch that down, go the other direction, cinch it down, and then a couple helicopter wraps to help bunch the thread in together. This also helps create a bit more of a stable platform. It's a little loose still, but if you want you can add a little bit of head cement just to help this sit in place but honestly if it moves around a little bit I don't have too much of a problem with it personally. Alright, looks pretty good. Alright, so now we're going to give a base of thread and we're going to come back up about the midpoint of the hook here. So I'm going to be tying this in a steelhead blue, <coughs> excuse me, steelhead blue color. Now I've, I like the blue and black combination quite a bit, so I tend to use it in lots of my flies. So we're just going to start by tying down the leather of this rabbit strip and we're just going to position it so that it kind of cups the top of our hook. We don't want it rolling over. So we're going to add some nice firm thread wraps to the back here. So we don't need the tail this long. I usually like to do about a hook length. So what I do is I come in on a 45 degree angle and cut about halfway and then I come in on a 45 angle on the bottom cut the other half. It gives you a nice tail and it's not too much it's not gonna foul in the hook. 
But if you do find that you're fouling, you can always tie in a little bit of uh, monofilament, monofilament loop underneath the tail. So we're just going to add a couple little pieces of flash. I'm just using a blue pearl flashaboo. And we're just going to tie that in on either side. Tie it in around the midway point on the close side and then we're going to pull it over. Make sure that we wrap it flat down the other side. And we'll trim up any excess we have. Wonderful. All right, next, I'm going to use a rabbit strip, a black one this time. So there's a couple different ways you can tie this in, but what you want when you're tying this is you want it, want the rabbit fur to lay backwards. So what I always do is I just kind of test it, and uh, normally we tie it in upside down so that when you tie it, you're kind of flipping over the leather so that it wraps around the hook shank. So we're going to tie this with the hair facing backwards or forwards. Um, just depends. If you wrap it forward, the hair is going to flare out a little bit more. If you wrap it, the hair going backwards, it should lay back. Um, and sometimes, depending on the grain of the hair, that doesn't always work out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of the hair off the leather. So what I do is I just put my scissors in here and just snip off a little bit. That just helps keep it in place a little better. So we're going to tie this in leather side up. I'm going to give that quite a few heavy wraps just to make sure it's not going to move. I'm going to put our end our thread right behind the head. So we'll flip that over and we're going to start wrapping. You want just like you're palmering a marabou or a hackle. You want to slightly overlap as you wrap but always pulling back all the hair so that it lays back over itself and then when we get up to the eye we're just going to pull that strip in between the eyes for the final wrap I'm going to give that a couple wraps here And we'll trim off the excess. Now kind of clean that up. We're just going to add a few wraps. And I like to use this Peacock Black Natural Schlappen. You can use any kind of hackle really, but I like the way that this lays back over the rabbit strip, the way it's in the sh natural kind of greenish black sheen that it has. Kind of like a peacock feather in some regards, I guess. All right, so I'm just gonna take my scissors and just gonna rub them on the far side there just to double over this feather and again just like we did with the rabbit strip we're going to pull all the fibers backwards and we're going to wrap forward and that cups nicely over the back of the rabbit so a few few wraps is good 
if you want you can always put a contrast in color so you might tie the whole fly in black and then put a blue collar or chartreuse collar on there just to give it a little bit of contrast or you can tie the whole thing in black I've tied hot pink and orange or purple and pink works nice All right so you can actually whip finish the fly there cement it and be on your way but I like to add one more step this is a bit of the black dubbing that I've made with a little bit of highlight in it. Now this one's in acry acrylic with just a little bit of um, blue Angelina fiber in it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dub on a bit of a noodle here. I'm going to give a few wraps. Just a little bit more. And we're going to add a whip finish up front here. And you know what? We're going to add another one because you know that's what I do. Awesome. Just trim that. Add a touch of head cement on here. Take our little brush. Give that a bit of a preen. Pick out any trap fibers. And there you go. Hairball leech in uh, steelhead blue and black variation. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.